Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to work on this 71 Plymouth GTX for our diorama junkyard build that we're going to do soon. And this other specimen here that I received that was crushed. I didn't even bother to look what it was. Some type of Hot Wheel. We have a generic Camaro back here. And earlier in the week I picked up a load lifter from Matchbox for the diorama build. Now we're going to extend the forks on that so it will be usable. Uh, let's get started. If you watched my previous videos on putting dents on die cast cars, you may have seen a couple of these specimens. I'm going to show you how we do that again today. We're going to need some watered down wood glue, some pieces of toilet paper or toilet tissue, and a stiff small brush and we'll get started. I think before we do the dents we might as well get this load lifter out of the way. I've already cut these nails for a finish, finish nailer. Uh, a lot of you guys may be familiar with these. They're just regular nails for a finish nailer. I put them on the file downstairs in my shop, filed them down a little bit so they have like a beveled edge and we're going to attach them on top of the load lifter skids that are way too short and for that we're just going to use some regular super glue gel style That's alright I like to use the gel style super glue the other type just has a tendency to run off your project and make it difficult to use I just put three dabs on this first skid. I'm going to place this one on here. I have to view it from the bottom to make sure it's lined up square and straight. And then we'll probably have to hold that in place for a little while. Alright, the glue's holding the first skid on there pretty well. We'll go ahead and Attempt to do the same thing on the other side, just a few small dabs. It seemed easiest to hold it on the hold it this way so you can see underneath. Make sure bevels are both pointing the same way on the ends of the tracks. And then hold for at least 30 seconds. All right, now that I'm pretty sure that they're on there well enough to move this around a little bit, I like to take a little bit more glue and apply on at least one side of the two treads. Like so. And then sprinkle it with a little bit of baking soda. And when you sprinkle it with the baking soda, it dries almost immediately. And it leaves a very hard bond. In fact, they use baking soda and super glue to patch chips and helicopter blades. It leaves such a strong bond. And it dries really quick. And you can layer it up and keep sanding it. You can use it as a filler. A lot of times if I'm cutting two die casts apart and putting them together, you can build it up with this baking soda as many times as you need to to fill gaps in and it dries so strong. Now we'll just set this aside to dry. When it's dry we'll we'll dust it down, hit it with a little bit of sandpaper and then we'll we'll put a weathering effect on the whole thing and it'll go good in our junkyard diorama I should have showed you earlier if you try to use it with the treads that were on here or it, it would just the car would just fall off so hopefully now we can at least pick a car up with this thing now let's move on to putting some dents on our vehicles all right here we go I previously cut some paper to fit the length and sides of the car we'll take our watered down wood glue get the car wet in my previous video I showed you how to clean cars and prep the bodies 
for this process if they were really dirty, but this car is not dirty. It's, it's pretty clean. We could have went ahead and did that, but it's going to stick fine. So we'll skip that process since these cars are pretty clean. At least this one's clean. Any extra paper around the wheel wells, I'll just tuck in there. I got a little bit ahead of myself. I should have took these wheels off. Well, I'm still going to. We'll probably use these on another vehicle. They're nice rubber tires and good looking wheels. You got plenty of working time with this, so you know, take your time and manipulate the paper and try to use your imagination how you think the dents should look or what might have happened to cause them and, and just keep that in mind. It's not hard to make this look like paper sitting on the car if you're not careful. I think we'll go with that. It's not going to look perfect, but you really can't put dents in a die-cast car. It's, there's just not flexible enough. It, eventually it just cracks, so this is a good alternative. It kind of plays with your eyes and just looks like bent-up metal. And you're not really damaging the car. If you take a notion and want to restore it, all you'd have to do is strip all this stuff off and it could be easily fixed again. Alright, uh, the only hard part about this project is waiting for stuff to dry. Alright, that's I think that's good enough. We'll set this one aside to dry and move on to our next one. Next up we have a Hot Wheels Easter Islands Tiki Tour truck that some kid has smashed looks like. So we're not going to try to fix anything on here because I don't fix them. I like to smash them. Or at least make them look that way. I've cut out a couple pieces here. This will look great in our diorama that we're going to build. I think we're just going to cover the whole roof, windshield, and everything with this, since the windows are already black. I think once we paint this, it might be pretty interesting looking. Yeah. I like that it's already damaged. I don't feel bad making it look worse. I felt a little bad with the Plymouth, but like I say, I tried to sell it. Nobody wanted it with the mirror missing, and I didn't either. So I've had it for a long time, but always regretted looking at it with the, the mirror missing and a hole in the door. So... Alright, I just wanted to do the tailgate for some reason. I think that'll look good when we paint it. Very simple process. Not much to look at now, but once it's painted, they are pretty impressive looking to me. Here's a cheap generic car that really had no value. It had solid black windows. When I broke them out, I was surprised to find it had two seats in there. But we're going to cover this entire car with paper so we can get rid of the bottom that looks all plastic and just make the whole car look like metal. So this would be good in a junkyard stack down at the bottom. You won't be able to tell much other than it's just a rusty shell of a car.
I have quite a few of these cars like this that I got in the lot recently that I don't know what I'm going to do with. Except for maybe something like this. I don't want to throw them away and they're all used and beat up so I can't really donate them. You have to take your time a little bit to make it, you know, not look like it's just got paper sitting over top of it. If you get in too much of a hurry, it can look like that. Anything's going to look better, though, than the plastic bottom on here when this is dry. All right, I'm just going to keep manipulating it. When we come back, we'll go check out our load lifter. All right, there they are. It's going to take a while to dry, so let's take a look at our load lifter. All right, let's check out the load lifter. The baking soda is dried. I took a brush and just dusted it off back into the baking soda container. I don't know if it's going to be perfect, but it probably has a better chance of lifting a car up now, at least this way, than the other way. Yeah. There we go. Before, when I tried to pick up a car, I just dumped it over. I might be able to use it. At least it looks better. Those forks are way too short on the regular version. All right, that's going to work good. We'll let these dry, and when we come back, we'll put on the weathering patina to make them look rusty like the other cars that I showed you. These are some ones that I did earlier. You can see how the paper, especially on the bottom one there, looks all banged up. And then we did some older cars. So we'll, we'll get the similar look on our, our other three when we paint them. Thanks for watching. If this seems like something you find interesting, please hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to ring the bell so you can see how they finish up. We'll put a patina on them in our next video. Talk to you soon.